Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. class we were discussing about um, cleavage reactions uh, particularly alpha cleavage reactions and uh, we took saturated acyclic ketones and we try to understand how it undergoes cleavage reactions uh, in this class what we will do is that as i mentioned uh, we will take a saturated uh, like uh, cyclic systems and try to understand how the chemistry works. Okay. So, in saturated cyclic systems, uh, we said that we are going to discuss 6 membered rings, then 5 membered, 4 membered and if we have some other examples of uh, higher member ring cycles, we will see that. Okay. So, we will start with the 6 member ring system. So, <coughs> So, basically the 6 member ring will consider cyclohexanone. Okay. Um, so, you guys know when I once I shine light what happens it undergoes gets excited to its singlet state and uh, as like a cyclic system, cyclic systems also undergo central system crossing. to give me my triplet. After this, you know that it undergoes alpha cleavage reaction, right. So, we get an alpha cleavage to give me a acyl and alkyl radical which is inbuilt since it is a cyclic system you get both on one end you will get an acyl radical another end you get an alkyl radical. So, this is your primary process fine. Now, what we will do is that we will uh, consider the secondary process and see what happens to these radicals. Okay. Um, so, I got my acyl radical. So, what it can do now? So, you have studied one it can undergo a decarbonylation I get my decarbonylation to give me what? What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you get a 1, 5 di radical. Fine. What 1, 5 di radical can do? What are the reactions 1, 5 di radicals can do? They can do a recombination, right? To give me, so I 
సైకిల్లో పెట్టి ఆర్ అదర్ థింగ్ వాట్ యూ కెన్ డూ The study is about 1,5 diradicals, right? So 1,5 diradicals can recombine to give me a cyclopentene or it can abstract an hydrogen, okay? So you have an hydrogen abstraction process, intramolecular hydrogen abstraction can take place to give me my alkene type derivatives. So next we will see what, what is the other process we have studied in the secondary. One we have studied alpha cleavage reaction, another we have studied is, huh? yeah that is what decarbonylation to, it undergoes a decarbonylation to give me a 1,5 di radical and then we studied that 1,5 di radical can recombine or it can abstract and hydrogen to give me an alkene that is what we study right. So I got product 1 and product 2. So what other things we studied in the secondary process? Yeah. So we studied a process called intramolecular hydrogen abstraction. In this case it will be intramolecular hydrogen abstraction. I can think of two ways, one your acyl radical can abstract an hydrogen okay, to give me an aldehyde, unsaturated aldehyde I can get this or my alkyl radical can abstract an hydrogen to give me and this um, it does one more reaction which is very important uh, this acyl and alkyl radical this system any idea what it can do one it does decarbonylation which you have studied another is intramolecular hydrogen abstraction where acyl radical can take an hydrogen or your alkyl radical can take an hydrogen so you get a two products um, then uh, beta it undergoes very good radical recombination in this stage itself to give back my starting material. See this, this is very important reaction, this radical recombination. You will, uh, you will understand basically why, uh, next example I will let you know how this radical recombination plays an important role. Okay, in this reaction you say that yes sir, I am getting back my starting material. Uh, but if you take some other molecules, I will show in the second example how this radical recombination is important. Right? So what happens? You take a cyclohexanone system, when I shine light, I get a decarbonylation product that is coming out of 1,5 di radical. See the more important is that you have to study di radical systems. So you get 1,5 di radical, get the system,
plus you get your the same yeah since it is same you are not writing it but anyhow you should know that this two products you get out by your decarbonization that is from the 1 5 di radical this is your intra molecular hydrogen abstraction and this is from radical recombination. So, I can get like 5 products Now, what we will do? We will take another second example. I am taking a cyclohexanone. Now, we will take this type of cyclohexanone system. Okay. And now we will see whether we can apply the same knowledge, okay, of the from the first example. Like we have studied like uh, decarbonylation, we have studied intramolecular hydrogen abstraction, radical recombination. Can we apply the same knowledge here? Hmm? So yes, uh, your first step is always you know once you shine light in cyclohexanone system. It is singular, then it undergoes intersystem crossing. It is triplet, then you can do your alpha cleavage. Since it is a symmetrical, you does not worry about much whether this side or this side. So, you end up with a you get this up to this, it is fine, it is like a primary process which you know. Okay. Now, we will see what happens to this radical, uh, how it does the secondary reactions. Okay. So, I have my system like methyl. You have this radical. Now, what it can do? What what this can do? Once the, you get this radical, in previous case you saw decarbonylation, intramolecular hydrogen abstraction all taking place. Uh, in this case, yeah, it also happens. But another important thing happens here. What you can see? You can get the other two also. Yeah, you you can always have this bond rotation, right? That is your C two to C three bond rotation can happen. Right. So you will get then. get now this system right now what happens your both are like same type of radicals right so if this is undergoing 1 5 
uh, if this undergoes decarbonylation to give me one phi radical, then this also should undergo same decarbonylation to give me one phi. If this is going to do my intramolecular hydrogen abstraction, then I have to do for this also. So, you see that. Now, what happened once I put two methyls, the formation of product will be more. Okay. So, what we will do first we write for this. What it does? It does a decarbonylation to give me So, so this is not there. Okay. Uh, so you get your one phi di radical. You know that what one phi di radical can do. One phi di radical can undergo a radical recombination fast. To give me a methyl. Then you know that it picks hydrogen, but that is you get a minor product. We do not worry right now on that. You can write that product also. Then you get your intramolecular, intramolecular hydrogen abstraction. You can think about this intramolecular hydrogen abstraction. So, what do you get? You get your if I pick an hydrogen from here, you get your aldehyde, right? Shall we write that aldehyde? So, metal here. So, what happened now? I am generating a double bond there, all right? If I generate a double bond here, so what it means? I am now fix my methyl, whether it is cis, trans, E, Z, we have to do that. So, since it is outside, we fix it as methyl here. Okay. See, these are very simple thing, but you have to find it out. Okay. If I do the same chemistry from this radical, For example, I am doing the same intramolecular hydrogen abstraction, then what product I should get? See my metal will be inside, right? So, I get now like two different alkene products. If I do my radical that is decarbonylation, get a radical and this recombines. just by just due to your C 2 C 3 bond rotation. See, I am getting like different products now. I get like this is one of the product, I can get this. Right. <laughs> then one important uh, reaction happens, that is what I said. This can undergoes a radical recombination, then I should get a cyclohexanone. I 
which will be different from your product. So mostly you are going to end up like see I am not uh, no one uh, gives you directly cycloaxone and I ask you you will get system like this then you have to understand like once I fertilize and you have to write all the products at the end of the day it is not like writing only one product okay you should know to write all the products. So in this case I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 if I miss this C2 to C3 bond rotation I am going to end up with only 2 products. But the, this others are also important, and all these products are isolated and characterized. Okay. So we we have several examples like this. I'm just going to give you this, and then we'll the assignment. I will give you several examples based on this type of mechanisms. Right? Okay. So now we will take very simple uh, cycloexanone system okay? um, and uh, try to understand this product studies like wave, if you do it in vapor phase or if you do it in liquid phase which products will be predominant. Okay? So first for that we have to write the products. So you just um, can you write all the products for this. So, here you know that um, you have an option of this bond A or B, okay, you know which to cleave, okay. which one is A or B, B because you are going to get a secondary type of radical. So, I can get this product. So, if I want to write the uh, products of this, so always try to write your radicals, okay, that will give you information. So, it can undergo a decarbonylization. So, it is a 1 5 di radical. And basically, you should get 2 products from here. One product like this, get one like this. because this can abstract an hydrogen from here giving me an alkene and this type <coughs> of alkenes are stable rather than forming an alkene this side right substitutive alkenes. Other thing you can think about is your intramolecular 
That is an abstraction. We get okay, an algae. See, this will be the major product, but you can get another stuff. Right, you can get this product also. That should be a minor. So, you get a major product. Okay, now, if I do this reaction in vapor phase like without any liquid or any solution, just take my cyclo exanol, methyl cyclo exanol and just carry out this reaction in vapor phase, which product will be dominating? Which product you think will dominate? Yeah, your decarbonization, right? Decarbonization will happen in vapor phase. This product will be more dominating. But once you do the reaction in solution, then your intramolecular hydrogen abstraction process takes place faster. Okay. So, see, in vapor phase, your system doesn't have much okay to be uh, stable. So, what happens? Another alpha cleavage to the carbonyl happens, and, and uh, the radicals just gets off the carbon monoxide giving you the 1 phi di radical, but in liquid phase it has much interaction with solvents and other systems. So, it stays and it sees some hydrogen abstraction is possible. Okay. That is why it happens. If you do same system in zeolites and everything you can see different different chemistry happening, okay. but more on the vapor phase you try to get more decarbonization product. Norwich type 1 reactions most of the time is encountered in vapor phase. Okay. <coughs> So, this is uh, some examples on uh, 6 member ring system. Okay. Now, we will take some examples on 5 member ring system. Okay. What 5 member rings can do? See, in each case you will get different radicals. In 6 member you got 1 phi di radical system and 5 member you will get 1 4 di radical system and each di radical has its own chemistry. Okay, uh, some they undergo a radical recombination and then 1 phi it undergoes a radical recombination, same way it abstracts an hydrogen, but it is not necessarily true to be 1 4 di radical. 1 4 di radical chemistry is entirely different. So, we will see how it works there. Okay. So, the primary photochemical process most of the time are same except for some cyclic system. For example, cyclic butanone, it never undergoes any inter system crossing. Okay. Otherwise, most of your primary process which happens in the light, okay, excitation to singlet, n pi star, then inter system crossing and then alpha cleavage will be most of the time same. Uh, the secondary process will vary, okay, depends upon your radicals and what system you are doing the chemistry everything. So, now we will take 5 member ring systems. So, that is why initial class itself I said, if you are strong in spectroscopy and free radical chemistry, you, you can do most of your uh, uh, photochemistry. Okay. So, we will take the simplest cyclo uh, pentanone system. Okay. The chemistry is same like that, 
like uh, initially the for uh, cyclohexanone and cyclopentanone, uh, the primary photochemical process will be same. So, S y, okay. Then you get intersystem crossing. Get a system like this, which is more or less same to your cyclohexanone. Now we will see how this acyl and alkyl radicals of cyclopentonone behaves. So, we will see the secondary process now, how they are different from the initial one. So, you know it undergoes decarbonylation. So, what radical here you are getting? 1, 2, three. we are talking about 1, 4 di radical now. Okay, what does 1, 4 di radical does? Hmm? 1, 4 di radical does hydrogen abstraction. Uh, f first thing 1, 4 di radical tries to do your recombination to give you systems like this, recombination is allowed, you call it recombination or you call it a cycloaddition or uh, the another important thing of 1, 4 uh, di radical system is your cleavage, okay? your beta cleavage that happens very fast in 1,4 di radical that you cannot see in 1,5 di radical systems. 1,5 di radical system undergoes intramolecular hydrogen abstractions, 1,4 does not do that most of the time, it undergoes cleavage. So, if it undergoes cleavage you get an yeah basically you should get two molecules of ethyl. So, you should get this type of system, right? 1, 5 di radicals. Is this type of system undergoes a recombination to give you cyclopentanone? Yeah, it, it always happens this to give me back my. But this is the major product, okay. the chemistry in cyclopentanone system, okay. once you become your, once you make your ring strain, keep on straining your ring, decarbonylation process keeps on dominating. Okay. Um, so, that is why like cyclohexanone, once you take cyclohexanone immediately you can think about formation of 1,4 di radical pentanone system. But anyhow you can see minor products of your recombinations plus you can see your intramolecular you can see about your intramolecular hydrogen abstraction that is uh, you can think about getting your ketene right. can get your ketene or at the same time you can get your aldehyde.
So, I have taken a simple cyclopentanone system. So, you can think about so much of products. Okay. Uh, so, remember about the di radical formation, that is more important. See, once the ring becomes strained, or you, I have given you an example where the rings become strained, then you should understand whether this reaction goes, whether decarbonylation will be the major product, or it is recombination, or it should be an intramolecular hydrogen abstraction. That will be a little bit tricky when you go for a, a higher type of examples, okay, which will which will deal. So, I am taking a cyclopentanone system where you are <coughs> trying to make some time like stain type of rings into the. Okay, now, when we fertilize this, you get S1, then intersystem crossing, you get T1 that you know for sure. Then it undergoes an alpha cleavage. Give me a product. Can do an alpha cleavage here because it is more like same molecule. So, I get a radical of this type. Now, what happens in the second? Up to this, it is primary process which you know, it is good. But what happens if you go for the secondary process now? Now, what you can expect from this happening? Cyclopropane will involve uh, that that is the one because you are getting you can have think about many reactions right. One it can undergo a decarbonylation okay, to give me my 1 4 di radical system or it can undergo an intramolecular hydrogen abstraction from acyl or alkyl or it can do a radical recombination. So, you have like three possibility when you think about like that you write always. So, in this now you have to eliminate because it is very become a very specific examples. So, whether intramolecular hydrogen abstra abstraction happens here, can it happen? So, if I pick an hydrogen from here, I am going to create an alkene which is like really and generating a ketene in this type of system is again hard. So, intramolecular hydrogen abstraction I can eliminate out then I will go for radical recombination. Like you are again trying to make a highly stained ring. So, it is not going to do that. So, that is over. So, I have left with only one secondary process that is your decarbonylation. So, it can then have a system like this. So, you get a radical system. Right. Uh, now, again it becomes now 1 4 di radical system. We, we, have we have studied very clearly that 1 4 di radical system. That is why I said now 1 4 di radical system. Again 1 4 di radical system you have two, two options. Okay. One option you are is cyclization to give me a cyclic product. So, you think like whether I can cycle this, it is very hard because I am trying to. 
So, I am eliminating that process. Then one for dye radical system what it does? It does a beta cleavage. So, So, that is how now you have to see when you go for an IR examples, now you have to decide which are the secondary process will be dominating. You cannot keep on see if I give a simple molecule and ask you to write all the products, yes, you can keep on writing once you know this are the process. But once I give a specific molecule and ask you to write the major product, the given system, then you have to give me the major product. That time you have to understand which is the secondary process will be like dominating in this reactions, right. We will take another example and see what happens there. See slowly we will start doing more examples, okay. A system like this now, okay. I have taken this. This is still I am not introduced any concept of uh, uh, like most of the time I have kept symmetry on both sides of your carbonyl. That itself, first we will try to understand. If I bring some dissymmetry, then it will be really hard again, okay. We will work with this example first, then we will take some better examples like tougher examples. So, here you know that it goes, see why I am writing this S 1 and T 1 because you will be getting bored writing S 1 and T 1. See some cases reaction gets stopped from S 1 and this is chemistry from S 1 itself. You should understand what are the cases where it stops S 1. See this inter system crossing if they I said why S 1 to T 1 should happen if the energy gaps are very small. So, you should understand that depending upon your ketones whether this ketone can undergo an inter system crossing. Okay. So, that is why I am writing this again and again. Because this is only the photochemistry part. Now, we get a system like this. Okay. This is a primary. Now, we will see what chemistry is going to dominate in this. So, what chemistry we can think about here? Now, we have like three process because we know it is a cyclopentanone system. Uh, so, is radical recombination is can we think about radical recombination? Can you make a again a strain type of ring because it has okay, that is not possible. Then alpha cleavage why alpha why de decarbonization should not take place here? I can decarbonylate this, okay. I can join because that product is you, you cannot have like three cyclobutane system right. No. So, then you are avoiding that decarbonization step now. So, the only one you are left is intramolecular addition abstraction right. See now I can generate two type of alkenes here. See for example, I, I just for our convenience I am numbering this one three like this I am numbering. Okay. Uh, this acyl radical can abstract an hydrogen from here from 4 to give me a 
alkene. Yes, but same way this acyl radical can also abstract an hydrogen from six to give me an alkene. So it can get me two products now. Okay, it's not like it it will end up both the products are formed. Okay. Get an aldehyde, alkene, But that never happens that, uh, that decarbonate immediately before that it undergoes an hydrogen abstraction to give me the aldehyde. That process is more faster than that. Okay, that is the only reason. One for yeah, that can cleave back to give me two <coughs> cyclobutanes. Yeah, that can happen. But uh, these products are more predominating that if I say you can think about all the products, then that is the criteria. You can think about that is nothing wrong in it. Okay. When you talk about more dominating products okay, in a liquid phase, then this comes as a dominating product. Whatever you thought is completely right. Now, we have a system of this. Okay. Mm. What you can expect? Yeah, yeah, sign, yeah any, any, I am not getting bored with this. I will write down to, flood, to give me my. Now, what chemistry can dominate here? What are the secondary process I can think about? Shall we write one one product and see whether it can be formed? I can abstract an hydrogen okay, from here to give me a ketene. I can look for acyl radical abstracting an hydrogen. Is that just possible to give me an alkene? Because <coughs> you can get a nice alkene then. You can get an aldehyde like this. See, it can undergo a bond rotation now. Okay and then it can recombine.
see in this case much of uh, in this case much of decarbonization we are not we are not seeing see it depends upon individual examples now like once you know primary process then you are you are getting into secondary process in secondary process you should understand depending upon the molecular structure like how the how the given compound looks like which product will be dominating whether it is an decarbonization or it is an intramolecular hydrogen abstraction or it is uh, formation of my one for di radical which is dominating see <clears throat> when you go for specific example one of the product will be major most of the time okay then you have to identify which is the major product clear hmm? so we will get lot of examples see that's why since i am doing cyclopentanone system then for you it is looks like very easy you can just draw the structure because i am taking say five member ring once we do an example where i will include all the things together that time we'll see how we can do how tougher it will be okay clear hmm? okay we can have a break now then we'll start cyclobutane system <laughs>